गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन ओम शांति टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द मुरली दैट इज अट रीडिंग ऑन सैटरडे टाइटल ऑफ द मुरली इज अ ट्रेजर स्टोर ऑफ द ट्रेजर्स ऑफ हैप्पीनेस यू हैव रिसीव फ्रॉम द फादर द बेस्ट ओवर ऑफ ब्लेसिंग्स In this Murli, Baba told us that this place, Bharat, is important because of few great living souls. Then Baba told us about how much valuable this short period of Sangam Yug of Confluence Age is. Then Baba reminded us about the treasures that we have received from the Father. The, these treasures are unlimited and infinite then one by one baba reminded us from that what treasures we have obtained from the father since morning when we wake up with whom do we celebrate the first meeting baba said you celebrate a meeting with the creator of the world the bestower of all treasures the bestower of all blessings and the seed in whom the whole tree is latent then baba told us that the second treasure of happiness is that you are the long last and now found elevated souls whom god himself comes from the supreme abode to teach he doesn't come from london or america he comes from to that place where the scientists could not even think of going to then baba told us when you do any work whether it is logic or logic the almighty authority is always with you at every moment and he fulfill his responsibility as a friend then baba told that you have all the means of having all types of enjoyment then when we go to sleep we give him the news of all the day then take inspiration for the next day through elevated thoughts and deed and we go to sleep with baba baba said don't go to sleep alone and before this baba said baba eats with you and sits with you then Baba said, "What what is mean by angel? Angel means one who has all relationship with the one father." Then Baba said, "Always remain aware that you have been victorious every cycle." Then Baba reminded us that nothing is lacking in the treasure store is the praise of Brahmins, not of deities. then baba said those who cry cannot become the father's partners and then baba said whatever act you perform first check whether it is the same as the father and if it is not then we should cut it there and then and we should not carry it on and if anything we do is not elevated then we need to change it and make it elevated okay now let's continue from the second point the way to claim blessings from everyone is to serve does each of you perform every act whilst considering yourself to be cooperative with the father and a world benefactor when you have the aim of being a world benefactor nothing you do would cause damage or be unbeneficial when you have the aim of being a world benefactor nothing you do would cause damage or be unbeneficial as is your occupation so should be your dharna when you constantly remember your occupation you will become merciful and a great donor 
when you take every step in the awareness and attitude of being a benefactor for the self and a world benefactor, you will enable others to do the same. Only when you take every step as a benefactor for yourself can there be benefit for the world. Only when you take every step as a benefactor for yourself can there be benefit for the world. Constantly remember that you are carrying out this task as an instrument which we often forget that we are carrying out this task as an instrument. Finish the consciousness of mind. And remember that you are just an instrument. By serving in this way, you will automatically remember the Father. The more service you do, the more blessings you will receive from all the souls of the world and the more go good wishes you will receive from them. The more service you do, the more blessings you will receive from all the souls of the world and the more good wishes you will receive from them. Acha. Third point. With godly intoxication, the goal of the karmatit stage is very close. You elevated souls are those who receive an attainments, all attainments directly from the Father. The ocean of love, whereas all other souls attain something or another from elevated souls. The elevated souls receives all attainments directly from the Father, whereas all other source, souls attain something or another from elevated souls. You are those who attain all attainments directly from God. So, do you have this elevated intoxication? To the extent that you have this intoxication, so the goal of the karmatit stage will be seen to be that much closer. If there is less intoxication, the goal will seem further away. By maintaining this spiritual intoxication, you easily forget the world of sorrow. In that intoxication, being drunk, you forget everything, do you not? Now Baba is comparing it with the intoxication of being drunk. That in that intoxication, you forget everything. So, by staying in this godly intoxication, you forget the old world for all time. There is no damage caused with this intoxication. The more you intoxication, the more your intoxication rises, the better. With that intoxication, the more you drink, the more you finish yourself. Here, with this intoxication, you become imperishable. There, the more you drink, the more you finish yourself. But here, with this intoxication, you become imperishable. When observers see someone who is drunk, they see that that one is intoxicated. Similarly, when they see you, they should experience you to be intoxicated. If your intoxication rises one moment and comes down the next, then you will not have the pleasure that you should. Therefore, 
remain constantly intoxicated. There are all attainments with this intoxication. The awareness of belonging to the one father and none other enables your intoxication to rise. How we can rise our intoxication? The awareness of belonging to the one father and none other enables your intoxication to rise. With this awareness, you also develop power. You have heard a lot and now put it into practice. What you have heard and make it practical. You have heard a lot and now put it into practice what you have heard and make it practical. Babdada wishes to see all the children as practical idols who grant a vision in the living form. When the living idols become ready, the non-living idols will finish. And this Bharat will become an unlimited temple. All other, all other many temples will finish and it will become one big temple. Achha. Fourth point. The confluence age has the blessing of being the time to earn an income of multi-millions at every stage. Do you consider yourself to be the multi-million times fortunate souls who earn an income of multi-millions at every step? In yesterday's Agar Kaburli, Baba was talking about the same thing that we are, we are those who accumulate multi-millions at our every step. So today also Baba is Asking us that do you consider yourself to be the multi million times fortunate souls who earn an income of multi millions at every step? Do you check whether you are accumulating at every step? The confluence age has received this blessing to accumulate multi millions at every step. So if you do not accumulate in any second or with any step, then so much damage is incurred. In logic life too, if you do not earn anything for one day, you worry. That is a limited income, whereas this is an unlimited income. In logic also, if we do not earn anything for one day, we worry. But that is just a limited income, whereas this is an unlimited income. One step of the present time enables you to accumulate an income of multi-millions. And so how much attention should you pay here? Do you pay this much attention or do you take ordinary steps? This we need to ask ourselves that do we pay that much attention at every step or do we take ordinary steps? Now that this is your alokic word, every step should be alokic, not ordinary. What would be the sign of those who accumulate an income of multi millions at every step? the sparkle of attainment would be constantly visible on their faces. What would be the sign of those who accumulate an income of multi millions at every step? The sparkle of attainment would be constantly visible on their faces. 
just as you see a sparkle of something physical, in the same way, the sparkle of attainment would be visible on their faces. Those who come into contact with you would feel that you have attained something. They would be attracted to you and come in front of you of their own accord. So, the fullness of your face will be an instrument for service. As Baba said, Chehre se seva karo. So, the fullness of your face will be an instrument for service. Do you remain constantly happy? Or does Maya sometimes snatch your treasures of happiness away? Is the gate of Maya shut or open? Now put a proper double lock on the gate. Maya will open a single lock and enter. Keep the double lock of remaining busy in remembrance and service. Keep the double lock of remaining busy in remembrance and service. If you simply stay in remembrance and do not do service, then too Maya will come. Maya will not enter through a double lock. She will knock but not enter. That is, she will not be able to attack you. There is a lot of service to be done through the mind. Make the atmosphere powerful with your attitude. The whole world has to be transformed. And so the atmosphere will be transformed through your attitude. How the atmosphere will be transformed? Through the attitude. Acha. Fifth point. The means to reach the complete and perfect stage of the first birth is a high jump. The time for making effort has now passed because the speed of time is very intense. Those who have come later have to finish the whole of the study in a short time and they therefore have to make intense effort and take a high jump. In order to make intense effort, simply pay attention to one thing. Now, let's see what Baba is telling us how to make intense effort. Keep your perfect stage in front of you and check your present chart. Keep your perfect stage in front of you and check your present chart. If the perfect stage is 16 celestial degrees, then out of the 16 celestial degrees, how many have you imbibed? Continue to check yourself in this way. Continue to fill the gap. This is known as effort. Acha. At the time of living. Just as the father is pleased to see the children, similarly, each child, child should be constantly dancing in happiness. A happy face does more service than words. A happy face does more service than words. Let your face become a living mobile museum. Just as you have different pictures in a museum, similarly, 
all the father's virtues should be visible from your face. When you serve through words, you have to go there physically and speak to them. Whereas, when you serve through your face, you can go there even without being invited. So, all of you should now make yourselves into living museums. When all of you become museums, heaven will then be inaugurated. Father Brahma is waiting for this inauguration to take place. Therefore, get ready quickly so that the inauguration can take place quickly. When will you carry out the inauguration? Baba is asking us that when will you carry out this carry out the inauguration? Can the date be fixed or will it take place suddenly? What will happen? Baba said the confluence age is good. But you also need to have the thought that you have to give everyone happiness and peace. When you see others unhappy and desperate, you should feel mercy. Achha. Om Shanti. We'll turn for a few minutes, then we can share our journeys. Om Shanti. Now we all can share our journeys. In today's Murli, Baba gave one technique to gain blessings from everyone. What was that? So this. Right, sister. Um, how we can reach close to the goal of the karmatid stage? Pite Rana. Keep drinking. Right. Baba, and you know that word which he uses, uh, <clears throat> how well he has explained that alcoholic over here. An alcoholic, when he drinks, you know, he first drinks a little. Bulte hai na, toda chadta hai. But when he wants more, what does he do? He takes the full bottle and he puts it in his mouth and then uh, it's just that kind of intoxication as he just planned. But here Baba gives us two kinds of intoxications. One is uh, whatever I have attained, I should be happy that I didn't have a middleman. I got everything directly, directly, directly from him. And that I belong 
only only to him i think these two things if we mix up and keep drinking drinking every time probably nasha chadega but i was just thinking this nasha and karmatit stage uska sambandh kya hai because that baba never i didn't get that explanation in that paragraph if you see nasha fine lekin nasha se nishana wo bhi fine but uh, does that mean jab ek aadmi peeta hai whole nasha everything uh, is forgotten that is that baba is talking about shanti yes sister that when we are intoxicated we forget about the whole world and this will bring us closer to karmatid stage others may also i Om Shanti. Om Shanti, brother. Actually, when Baba talks about intoxication, that is being detached from the bodily world and getting in the soul world. When Baba talks about that we are drunk, are we intoxicated or not? That that uh, that means what Baba is talking about. Have we become soul conscious? and whatever baba talks about intoxication and in that intoxication the awareness that i am a soul i am god's child increases and uh, baba's intoxication and the world's intoxication is different in the world's intoxication you forget yourself but in baba's baba's intoxication you are aware of yourself that who am i from where i have come and where i have to go and when this complete awareness comes that is i'm always aware that who am i i belong to whom that means yoga is there and whenever i do anything that karma yoga is there and when it is karma yoga complete karma yoga that means we are moving towards the direction of karma teeth so both are uh, directly or indirectly related to that and in one line we can say duniya vina samin we get in the drain we get in the ditch and in baba's intoxication in this ruhani nasha we come out of the ditch we become aware who am i and we are moving in the direction or being satya pradhan or being karmati om shanti thank you pratna sister did you get the answer the intoxication of one my team it is an inward journey it's more focused towards being aware and when we talk about logic intoxication it's actually uh, is it is at times very disturbing space a person doesn't even know what he or she is doing so a person loses awareness when it goes to logic intoxication right sister anyone else sorry sister my phone got discharged i couldn't even listen to the sanjay bhai's uh, sharing uh, but uh, i don't i don't know what was shared but my question was just only one thing see an intoxication is only done to get to forget what we are and then they reach that bliss but uh, that's that uh, 
mean about the more I drink about him, about him think, I forget everything else. There is none but one. So maybe that stage. But in that one paragraph when Baba spoke about Bharat and unlimited temple, I really liked that. Because Abhi Achkal scene, there are so many scenes of temples coming up. There are all limited places of worship started from the proper age. But when Bab Baba mentioned that Bharat is going to be an unlimited temple, that was something very nice, that the whole world is going to flock there. Not just Rama Rama or Krishna Krishna, but only Baba Baba. I, I was just visualizing that. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, when Baba talks about uh, unlimited temple, actually what the concept concept of temple, that what is regarded uh, in this present world is that a temple is a place of worship. But actually the temple is not a place of worship, but the temple is a place where you get recharge yourself, charging yourself with your real uh, entity, with the real vibration. Basically temple is a charging place. And when it is called Bharat, Bharat, that means a, a place, a Bha means is, is for a spreading energy, that Bha, a Rat, that who is spreading the positivity of knowledge. And uh, in this uh, Bharat, uh, rather we can explain in this way that uh, uh, Nirantar, that Nirantar, that continuous uh, emission of knowledge. And when Baba is talking about unlimited, Baba is talking about that each and every child, each and every child of each and every child of Baba, each and every individual of Bharat. Because Baba, when Baba is talking about Bharat, that means that uh, that will be uh, assimilation or or you can say that uh, accumulation of all the child of Baba. And when all the child of Baba become the energy emission, that means we, when we become Bab Saman, we emit energy, we radiate energy of Baba, as like Baba. And uh, that what actually Bharat means, and that what actually the, uh, the temple synonym is that, spreading uh, that uh, place of recharging. And when all the children of Baba become Bab Saman, uh, they, they create a place that is called Bharat. That means a place which radiates the positive, which radiates the energy of Baba, which radiates the energy of the Supreme Soul continuously. What I got it from that, Om Shanti. Thank you, Bridget. There are some sharings in the chat box. Girja sister has shared. Through service, I claim blessings. Need to give my finger of cooperation in his task. What is my occupation? Get intoxicated, drunk to reach the karmatit stage. What intoxication? And Bharat Unlimited Temple. Then Radhamani sister has shared the intoxication of belonging to one father and none other. Confluence age, one step equals multi-million income. Uh, Om Shanti sister. See, if you Shanti. just see the Murli, uh, it was a marathon Murli for us a murli which uh, ran for three sessions. But if you just condense it, Baba started with Bharat and Baba started with treasure and Baba started with treasure of happiness. And then he went through so many of the qualities which we need. Why should I be happy? And all other things, as you had nicely summarized with it. And all the, what uh, giving us the timetable why one should be happy and also speaking about 
my what kind of form i should have what kind of drill i should have how should i fill in the gaps and then he, today he went through the intoxication all this for that happiness and how nicely he has ended it baba says he speaks about a full moon face apna moon jo hai it should be like a full moon and that will be baba says an instrument no and two things he says <clears throat> full face and double lock like your face should be like a living mobile museum so that people you need and tell automatic attraction will be there and here also baba spoke about effort even in yesterday's murli in our sunday murli baba spoke about three kinds of people effort makers liberators and bodiless people and all when he spoke in yesterday's sunday murli Yesterday also he gave us a blessing about being cooperative in God's task. So the way he took the murli, and then see how did he end the murli? Only if everyone are happy and peaceful will that stage come. All all have to be happiness and peace. Then for that also he is giving a solution. If some are unhappy, some are desperate. give them mercy like he just concluded it like that i was just the end of the murli uh something a very different thing so one really has to go through the whole murli again to understand the link of how he started the murli and went to the oops function right sister lot of things are there in this murli So we need to revisit them again. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Ah, uh, thank you, Baba. Thank you, Divine Family. And uh, in this movie, I got a takeaway of myself. Is intense effort. Baba has mentioned you know, how you do becoming, how to do an intense effort. For intense efforts, you have to see the present. What is your state? Then after you check your chart, and where there is a from sixteen degrees Celsius, uh, Celsius, uh, how many you miss color you have miss, miss you have got, and whatever the difference is there, you you check and then uh, do your efforts. So I like that very much. So it will helps to increase the effort. Uh, past the home shanti. Thank you, Baba. very nice brother in this murli baba gave us the method to do effort so this will help all of us to move ahead with do, while doing intense effort by constantly checking and changing us anyone else நம்ம கோயம்புத்தூர்ல நட்சுக்கு வருஷத்துல முன்னூத்தி அறுபத்தி அஞ்சு நாளும் சிக்ஸ்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் வரைக்கும் ஆஃபர் கொடுக்கிற முப்பதாயிரம் ஸ்கொயர் ஃபீட்ல ஓபன் பண்ணிருக்க ஒரு Here, just as Mr. Ash said, full moon face and double lock. Yes, our face should be like a museum. This is what Baba said today. And double lock. What was the double lock? Will anyone like to answer? It is remembrance and service, right? Right. But uh, why in yesterday's Murli, if you see? Baba says there should be a balance between. I'm talking about the Sunday Murli. Very clearly, he says about balance between uh, service and remembrance. What both should be equally seen. They should not overflow. Like if you do more of service, more of service, or less of remembrance, or more of remembrance, just sitting 
uh, always in yoga, always in yoga, no task. So there also the double lock will fail drop. So Maya will enter through some loophole. So even there in yesterday's Murli, Sunday Murli Baba said, one has to keep a perfect balance of this lock. Correct, sister. In today's Murli also, Baba said that both should be there. If there will be single log, then that will also not work. Baba said, if you simply stay in remembrance and do not do service, then to Maya will come. So there should be double work. Then you just suggest high jump. What high jump we have to give? In intense effort, whenever suppose you are comparing yourself to your perfect form, if there are any gaps in between, you should cross that and take a high jump. Right. Then Sanjay Bhai has shared full moon face. That is Gyan Swarup, Gyan Murat. Double law, purity and responsibility. Then Radhamani sister has shared, all father's virtues should be visible from our face. And Baba said, when your face will become like this, then other souls will get automatically attracted towards you. For doing service through words, we need to go there physically. But face can do service through which others can come attracted towards us. Then Brahma Kumar Sanjay Bhaiji has shared high jump that is elevated state of soul by Sangha Ka Rang. Wonderful. Even yesterday, sister, I don't know whether yesterday, first day, you know, Baba gave us a very strict timetable. You know, Baba said, Agar kahan bhi tour mein jana hai, go to the three worlds. Agar kuch pehna hai, any adornment, adorn virtues. Agar kuch drama dekhna hai, no TV and all, paach azar ka drama dekho. And agar koi, if you want to read any history, apna khud ka birth ka history padho. Agar kisi se baat bhi karna hai, sirf baap se baat karo. I was just saying, you know, a kind of a funny kind of strict timetable Baba gave. Agar ye karna hai, ye karo. Ye karna hai, to ye karo. Like uh, a very strict disciplinarian Baba was in that. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Uh, Girja sister has just uh, said some wonderful words relating uh, to the Murli. That what actually it means when Baba becomes your sansar, Baba is sansar. In one line, we can say Baba is sansar. You will find everything with Baba, all sambandh with Baba, and everything uh, you will get from Baba. You need not uh, have to have any other friend, any other person. That me or Mera Baba, yehi Mera sansar. That what it means. Om Shanti. But Sanjay Bhai, Baba should also understand 4,900 years he left us like that. Uh, enjoy karo. Aur ye 100 years mein itna, itna apne ko ye karna, ye, ye karo. See, Baba, of course, I know he understands. But Baba should also know he left us loose 4,900 years or 100 years ke andar. Sab yehi karna hai, yehi karna hai, yehi karna hai. Sometimes he, you know, <laughs> kabhi kabhi lagta hai ka, like a stick he stands so I tell Baba come on aapko to kuch kaam banda nahi hai aap chati jate hai so jate hai aur sab humko yaan bagate hai humko wandering kar dete hai aur end me hundred years me aake humko thirsty karte hai no it's just like a conversation I have and I saw this you know this is the conversation I had with my Baba it's just uh, a personal sharing piece actually Om Shanti Actually, unless and until a person feels the pain, 
then only he understands the real uh, love actually because what happens when you are uh, with baba suppose when you are with baba with fa for 5000 years what you do that uh, girna that girna process is, will be there I, even uh, because uh, what happens when you are being with a single person for a long long time when there is ati nikatta there is avagya so due to that only baba is with us for only 100 years it may happen that even baba is with us and we are betraying baba that means uh, we are getting in the ditch of sin more and more and that baba never wants baba is a teacher he teaches us equips with the best of the best knowledge and gives direction of everything but we children what we do we forget it and uh, we start uh, moving in the world of body 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 world we become body conscious and whatever pain whatever uh, negativity we have whatever uh, problem we have it's not due to baba but due to us because we uh, transform ourselves from uh, uh, body conscious to soul conscious it is baba who loves us so much so he comes again and again every day think of a situation that uh, you are a teacher and uh, you having a lot of children and you have to say every day come on child come on child come on child a day will come you'll get irritated but baba never gets irritated baba loves us so much uh, so uh, when baba comes uh, he gives us uh, so love so much of love that we sometimes we, we feel that yes baba he sansar hai and uh, we don't need any, anybody else because what baba gives that is more than sufficient so due to that due to that only we say panatha so palya and when baba has given so much we don't need anybody om shanti now i know why you are sanjay so baba ka ye broadcast karne ke liye because my question to baba is agar gira hi kyon diya kyon ne mujhe khinch liya kyon apne baahon mein nahi dal diya you know if we ask baba that question he gives a five letter answer drama drama ड्रामा मैं भी बंदा हूँ मैं भी ड्रामा हूँ लेकिन क्यों गिरा दिया फिर बाद में मैं हूं ना मैं हूं ना मैं हूं ना मुझे याद करो मुझे याद करो मुझे याद करो आई सर ये रेपिटेशन ही नहीं आपको वाई डिड यू हम इतने छोटे छोटे बच्चे थे आपसे प्यारे थे आपके साथ परम धाम में थे कितने अच्छे अच्छे थे क्यों हमको बेच दिया यू नो अ काइंड ऑफ चाइल्ड लाइक थिंग बट ही जस्ट से ड्रामा is very nice actually uh, if the uh, world cup drama na that is what is coming in my mind baba says drama means d for be dedicated r for be responsible a for add on with divine virtues r for become ruhani and a you will uh, you will be a uh, such a personality that you will become adorable if we can follow that concept of drama we will understand what baba wants because baba in his each and every word gives uh, a lot of wisdom to us if we can have that uh, inculcated in our uh, brain and uh, use it to the fullest extent in our uh, day to day work we will find that baba has not left us baba is with us wonderful discussion shanti om shanti let's move on to meditation sit back comfortably I am a world benefactor soul. I, the soul, do constant service and receive blessings from all the souls of the world i am just an instrument i belong to the one father and none other i I am spiritually intoxicated soul.
I am living item. I accumulate an income of multi millions at every step. I am constantly happy so. My face is like a living mobile museum. I constantly remain busy in remembrance and service. I am an intense effort maker. Acha, Om Shanti. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Divine Family. See you all tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, be happy and do service through your feeds. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you, Sister.